Hello everyone. Welcome to Uptalk channel. Before we start the video let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities, who could take on universal business platforms. Let us know about LifeRay interview question and answers. Question 1. What does LifeRay mean? Answer. LifeRay simply can be defined as a social and open source platform that is Java-based and it follows JSR 286, which can be defined as a lifecycle. For many events of portlets, it offers various digital experiences as services to its customers. Question 2. Is LifeRay considered a Java-based program? Answer. Yes, LifeRay is a Java-based program, and you can make any changes if you want, like changing the theme or any suitable modifications related to the organization. Question 3. What can LifeRay be precisely used for? Answer. LifeRay is a trending and popular platform which offers various services to organizations who choose LifeRay. If it is an organization, it has many requirements, and LifeRay will fulfill them with more accessible and straightforward questions. You can be able to solve problems in a friendly environment. Question 4. Define Portal. Answer. Portal is an online platform that is used to create web applications. Portal also collects valuable information from various sites and puts it together. Question 5. Define Portlet. Answer. A portlet is something that runs on web pages. Portlets generate responses just like other web applications with the help of processing requests. Question 6. What comes under LifeRay portal features? Answer. Below are some of the features of the LifeRay portal. Bullet operator performance and auditing monitoring. Bullet operator user customization. Bullet operator one-click configuration. Bullet operator role-based content delivery. Bullet operator tagging and searching. Bullet operator framework and workflow. Question 7. What are the roles of the LifeRay portal? Why do they exist? Answer. For various rules exist for the LifeRay portal. They are. Role of organization, to a single specific organization, the permissions. Will be assigned at the portal level. Role of regular, at the portal level, the permissions are assigned and. Applied. Role of team, in a particular site, the permissions are assigned and specified. Role of the site, to a single site at the portal level, the permissions are set and applied. Question 8. What are servlets? Answer. Servlets are Java-based, which are basic Java EE. To process specific responses, URLs, and process requests, servlets or servlet filters can be used that provide applications to the portal context. To any browser client, the Java servlet can be used to supply a lightweight web endpoint or an integration program. Question 9. Explain servlet and portlet and their differences. Answer. Asterisk both the technologies offer content as per the user's request. They also generate content. Asterisk both use various situations into consideration while building those requests. Asterisk the portlet can respond to a user's request in various ways, whereas the servlet can only respond through services. Question 10. Is LifeRay considered a content management system? Answer. Yes, LifeRay can be considered a powerful CMS that gives your organization the exposure to change any desired changes. Question 11. What are the features available in LifeRay? Answer. 
LifeRay keeps updating its platform, where new features are introduced. Regularly, some of the new features include Bullet Operator Exposure to International Companies Bullet Operator The Generator of New Themes Bullet Operator The Flexible Nature of Developing New Tools Bullet Operator Modularity Bullet Operator OSGI Question 12 Define OSGI Answer To distribute or create any modular software, OSGI can be used. OSGI is Open Service Gateway Initiative It is a Java-based platform. Bundles or plugins in an OSGI mean the primary section of OSGI is set. Conventionally. Question 13. How can we get benefited from adopting OSGI? Answer. There will be many modifications in an organization and the applications provided by OSGI can be adopted quickly because the organizations keep changing their requirements. OSGI provides a framework that is consistent with the Java EE programming model. Question 14. On what factors LifeRay Portal Administration is managed? Answer. To maintain and create the following programs, the user interface can act as a control panel, bullet operator portal settings, bullet operator organizations and users, bullet operator teams and sites, bullet operator policies for passwords, bullet operator settings of portals, bullet operator templates for sites and pages. Question 15. Which type of page is available? Answer. Basically, two kinds of pages are available, user and site level pages. On a site page, the public page can be accessed by anybody, whereas the private page can be accessed only by higher officials of the organization. The user page also includes the same, and all can access public pages. And private pages can be accessed only by authorities. Question 16. Define organization in LifeRay and the process of assigning users to organizations. Answer. Assortment of clients organized in various hierarchical levels is known as organization. Based on the user's position in the hierarchy, the user can be assigned to one or more organizations. If a user belongs to one group, the user can join another organization. Organizations get linked with a site. Question 17. Define the templates and structures. Answer. Templates are used to display specific content to be seen by the users. Structures supply detailed and necessary data to templates and also provide what the article is missing with the appropriate material. Question 18. What are called the site and page templates? Answer. The control panel can manage the site template. The administrators can create various sites with a default set of content and pages using a site template. Predefined content and layout-based pages can be created using the page templates. You can also start your content and widget page templates. Question 19. Explain DXP in LifeRay. Answer. DXP is defined as a digital experience platform. It is advanced enterprise software that strives to improve the customer experience by enhancing the digital transformation and addressing the wants of businesses. Question 20. What is the role of LifeRay DXP? Answer. Any user of LifeRay can use DXP to digitalize corporate operations. Improve customer experience by connecting them and collect all the insights of customers. Question 21. What are the recent updates in LifeRay DXP? Answer. These are some of the new features available in LifeRay DXP. Bullet Operator on the latest version of DXP, Headless APIs are included. Bullet Operator RESTful Web Services are now available. Bullet Operator by creating MFA, multi-factor authentication, where users can 
Access their data easily on desktops or mobiles with ease. Question 22. What is CMS in LifeRay, and how is it different from DXB? Answer. The CMS, Content Management System, is like a backbone to engagement software, digital identity, and strategy, whereas DXP includes many tools that can create customizations of customers that connect and scale across various languages, locations, and channels. Question 23. Is LifeRay considered a horizontal portal? Answer. LifeRay has been an eternal member of NQ for all the horizontal portals. Question. Explain LifeRay's MVC portlet. Answer. MVC model view controller, portlet applications are web modules. With something like one portlet class enlisted as a part in LifeRay's runtime environment. Web modules utilize standard OSGI metadata to distinguish themselves and work in any work environment. Question 25. Explain LifeRay DXP's portlet mode, the types of portlet modes. Answer. Any function a portlet performs can be said as portlet mode. And the process includes portlets to generate related content and manage different activities. When invoked, the portlet converter gives the portlet the exact portlet. Various LifeRay portlet modes are help mode and view mode. If you like this video please do like, share and subscribe. For more interesting videos do follow the UpTalk channel.